Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping to check out this video. It's been a very, very long time since I've released anything. On the winter break now, so obviously there's no excuse, so why not make another video? With this one, I um, wanted to show you and take you along on a bike ride that I went on in, I think early December, something like that, to Ginza, which is the central part of Tokyo, and back. Um, on my road bike using, uh, I've got it here. This is a mount. mount. On my journey, um, I recorded everything using this um, GoPro. This is a uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black. Really, really useful, cool camera. And to take the pictures that you're about to see, I use this uh, GoPro mouth mount. It's pretty cheap. It was just kind of about seven pounds for about say yen on uh, Amazon. I can't put the, uh, the little clip thing. I'll demonstrate basically how it works. No, I can't because I don't have the older thing. Do I? As you can see, I'm well prepared for um, a talking head YouTube um, video introduction. Really, really unprofessional. Anyway, yeah, so here is a little clip of kind of what it looks like and how it kind of goes in your mouth and and how it's basically how silly you look using it and riding with it. So it's a bit like this. It just goes in your mouth and you start riding with it and switch off, obviously on and off with things that you want to record. And that's kind of the footage that you, um, that you get. It's quite good because, you know, you can kind of get it on your helmet on the top but you're kind of like looking down at your hands and things like that, or maybe if it was kind of on your chest, it would it would just kind of show like your arms in the way. And I don't know, it's it, it's not really for me, but I think this works really, really well. I think the only downside, the only disadvantage was that it wasn't like completely secure. So a few times you've got to kind of like, you know, if it's like this, but if you're hunched over this way climbing or if you sat upright or something like that, you might have to just like lower it down and move it about. It's all right actually, but after you know a bit of jiggling, you, you can get some pretty good footage. So I'm gonna um, this. I'm gonna show the video now. This is basically from where I am in Hachioji to Central Tokyo, and basically what that is like. My first experience of cycling in and around Tokyo. Um, anyway, just other news, any other updates? Um, yeah, um, changed my office. This is, I'm in, in a downstairs room now. This is um, now my sort of office workspace uh, where I'll be making more of my videos. So um, yeah, this is, this is it really. So this is some of Minami's artwork. As you can see, um, pretty cool alcohol ink work on black canvas. I've linked the, um, her channel in the description below, uh, linked to her Instagram if you wanna check out any of her stuff. I think it was pretty nice. Anyway, so without further ado, here's the video and a bit of commentary on top. So I hope you enjoy. Happy New Year to everybody out there. Akemashite, medito gozaimasu. Mina, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. So pretty much setting off now. Um, it's getting near to winter at the moment as I'm recording this. So it is quite chilly. Um, and I found out much to my surprise how cold it became once I started leaving my local area. Uh, really, really cold day actually. So just by the river, really, really nice sort of easy ride so far um, you know just just getting used to kind of having the GoPro thing in my mouth and yeah it can be quite tricky kind of <clears throat> when you're coming up to a junction or you're coming up to a crossing sort of like taking it out, out of your mouth again and storing it away and things like that and then putting it back in your mouth and I think you do you know generally look like a bit of an idiot with it in your mouth but
So I think kind of my general thoughts of cycling in Japan is um, that I think the roads are really, really nice and really well kept. Um, not many potholes at all. I don't remember kind of having to kind of swerve around any big potholes, um, any, you know, um, apart from that, that's pretty dangerous. They're like kind of dr drainage um, ditches for obviously for the rain and things like that. But you know, you need to be really on your guard not to, to go into one of those. Sometimes like, yeah, I just want to kind of, I, I get a bit kind of, um, sketchy about um, you know filming people and stuff so I don't really kind of want to have the camera pointed at people that don't necessarily want to be filmed and stuff you know I just kind of want to be as respectful as possible so you know if anyone kind of sees me with a camera I'll just kind of like put it away and you know just continue on my merry way and um, and that's what I'm doing so um, so now I'm pretty much into it you know got a good stride sort of going on um, again you know quite nice roads really just really really well kept easy to sort of ride onto um, it was actually I think it was a Sunday maybe so uh, not many people on the road which is great you can just sort of uh, take it easy take it in your stride So yeah, you can see the suburbs are quite quiet. And I think generally like, you know, people just do give you a bit of space when they're overtaking, which is really, really nice. This is a bit of a, you might not be able to see, but this is a bit of a climb going on at the moment. So I'm just getting up to the top of it. And this is, you know, quite a um, rare site, a roundabout in Japan. So yeah, it's pretty nice just to, you know, zip along with uh, the GoPro in your mouth and just getting some some okay footage. Um, this is quite a bit of a hill here, so yeah, really having to sort of like dig in and um, a nice red post box, which is um, always nice to see, I guess. So now we're sort of leaving um, the suburbs and kind of getting a little bit closer into the sort of busier suburb slash city area. This is Tama um, Gawa. This is like the main sort of one of the main rivers that goes through Tokyo and like pretty much right into the um, into the heart of Tokyo. So. Uh, so we're sort of like getting our way past there now and we're getting a, a little bit closer to like Komae and then eventually to Setagaya I think and then obviously Shinjuku is sort of like where we sort of end up so as you can see it's getting a little bit busier now um, a few more uh, cars on the road, a bit of traffic here was absolutely insane this was somewhere that was really really difficult to ride on the street on the road it was just impossible there was just no space between like you and the car so you, you pretty much have to go on the street which is just not ideal because you can see it's just really windy and quite difficult to sort of uh, navigate just letting people pass and trying to get past myself and then obviously like cars coming out of side roads and stuff so um you're having to sort of like really be on your guard here and sort of um you know just just take it easy so 
So this is a bit of a pit stop, um, onigiri and a little, um, I think it's pano chocolate. Just for the uh, energy, just about halfway sort of thing. So we're now into, I think it is the like Setagaya area, something like that. I might be wrong, but um, as you can see, pretty busy, um, really re sort of like narrow space to uh, cycle. Um, yeah, just again, just sort of like not only cars and stuff, it's also like people that you've got, got to like dance around now it's getting into like the city and everyone's out on a Saturday or a Sunday whichever one it was um, so yeah just being careful and now we're getting to the heart of Shinjuku so right now it's pretty much bonkers there's just cars sort of like hazards on and like pulling out and coming in to park and things like that and I think one thing that I found really difficult about cycling in the city was that the uh, red traffic lights were just on all the time or like changed a lot so you would kind of have a lot of traffic and be cycling and then it'd be like red light and then you can only get like 100 yards red light so I was just I found myself in the city for like ages trying to get out and it was um, a bit of a nightmare really. So um, this is sort of like my way home, um, I didn't have much battery after this um, so yeah as you can see like just loads of people pulling out, it's just really sketchy sometimes but anyway this is kind of yeah this is kind of the end so um, thank you so much for uh, joining me and see you next time. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video, um, just before I go I just wanted to kind of show you the nice um, Hachi OG evening that we get sometimes. It is proper freezing as you can see. So I've got my hat on. The sun is kind of going down as you can see. Um, nice and pink skies. Um, I'll just move out of the shot there so you can kind of see. Yeah, please check out uh, more of my videos and then also um, some of Minami's artwork. I think it's really, really cool. So please, if you can, guys can check that out, I'd be really appreciative. Also, my cousin Sean is doing some really good stuff with non-league volunteers. So if you're into football, if you're into soccer, please check out non-league volunteers. I'll be getting my cup very, very soon um, and having a nice cup of tea from it. So, so there you go. Thanks very much for joining me and peace out, everyone.